Hello everybody, welcome to Dr. Katie Mark channel and this is a question from one of my students and of course uh, uh, this question is whole part but I thought one of the important part to to demonstrate to demonstrate what important of this one and this question have a trap back trap what back trap okay and it, it is an integration of sine uh, cosine over cosine uh, rational uh, trigonometry function from the domain zero to two pi, and actually, actually this is a normal function, and the uh, the uh, it is always negative, but uh, you can put uh, cosine theta equal to zero, cosine theta equal to one, cosine theta equal to minus one. Then for this one, the function here is negative three over twelve. Uh, if put this one. Uh, one is negative six over thirty two and put minus one this is let me see minus one oh this is zero therefore this function uh, uh, always uh, maximum is zero minimum is uh, mi minimum is i think this one is minimum yeah 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 and always negative this function of course, you can draw a graph from 0 to 2 pi. Uh, it is uh, located in, yeah, something like that. Something like that. I, I, I cannot show sure the exact way, but it is a normal function. Uh, it, has all, uh, it, is, it has its area under the curve. But um, let's look at what, what trap of this function. Okay, then I first I first uh, do some some let me copy the question. Okay, I first simplify this function and I for the denominator I separate it into two parts cos uh, negative three times cosine theta. Okay, for denominator, I, I, I factorize cosine uh, 12 outside the cosine theta. And this is 20 over 12, which is 5 over 3. Based on this fact, I, this add, I, I add fee, uh, 5 over 3 into the, this part. And uh, for the remaining part, I uh, it is let me see it is positive two, d theta. Okay, and then it can be separated into one over four, integrate zero to two pi, d theta. And the second part, one over six, cosine theta plus five over three. And And then multiply the six into the this uh, this denominator. I got the one six. Uh, yes, cosine theta plus ten. Okay. Uh, the f uh, first part is equal to negative pi over two. Okay. It is quite normal. And that now I try to use t formula to f uh, finish this. Uh, this integration, but uh, uh, you know that uh, it is in different uh, different integration. If you I put t equal to tangent theta over two, and you can see that if you put t, then I now I I try to use the as uh, in different integration to finish this one. First, I have to dt equal to 1 over 2 secant square theta over 2 d theta. And d theta equal to 2 over 1 plus t square dt. And the uh, cosine theta is 1 minus t square over, yet, um, over 1 plus t square. And change all the stuff of this function 6 times 1 minus t square, 1 plus t square plus 10 and d theta equal to 
2 over 1 plus t square dt. Okay, simplify this one. I uh, let me see times this one into the function 6 minus 6 t square plus 10 plus 10 t square over 2 dt. Oh, very nice. This the result is very nice because it is, yeah. Let me see. Four. Yes, ten. Yes, four t square. Yeah, four t square, and then t plus sixteen. Oh, very nice. Actually, it's very nice. And factorize the one over two outside the this and. Uh, uh, and uh, this integration is 1 over t plus t 4, p squared plus 1 dt. Uh, now, I change also, let t equal to 2 tangent theta, dt equal to 2 secant squared theta d theta. This can be changed to 4 secant squared theta, 1, no, 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 not 1, 2, 2 secant squared theta d theta. Okay, after finish this one, uh, this is 1 over 4 theta plus c. Change back to t. This is r 10 t over 2 plus c. t is equal to tangent theta over 2. Okay. Okay, now I, I, I can put, put, put that, this one into, go back to the original question. But you you will find that there's a big problem. Okay, sorry. Okay, put when put two pi into the tangent. Tangent two pi over two equal to tangent pi. Tangent pi is zero. Zero arc ten means equal to zero. This is zero. Minus also put zero into the function also zero. Oh, this is actually zero. But you you can see that it's possible, but actually you fail you has already fell into the trap because um, now I, I, I want to I give you 10 seconds so, uh, to let you know what is problem of this function 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 okay Let's okay. Let us go to the the problem of this question. And in this question, if you put theta equal to pi, then tangent theta over two is actually equal to oh undefined. Undefined because when theta tends to pi negative, then tangent theta over two is tends to positive infinitive. Theta tends to pi po positive. This is bigger than pi. Then tangent theta over two is tend to negative in the infinitive. This that uh, this function is broken, broken in 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 the uh, 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 in the value theta equal to pi. Therefore, we cannot directly put these two value into the function. In this case, we have to, we have to separate, separate this integration into two parts. One part, limit, theta one tend to pi negative, theta one plus another part, limit theta two tend to pi positive. 
theta two two pi. Okay, I think it is two. Oh shit. I have to reduce the size of this part so that I have enough space to write down the the remaining part. Okay, and one over six cosine theta plus ten d theta. Okay, I I move. This is wrong. This is wrong. I but I keep here so that let you know what is the difference between my and and la uh, this as uh, answer. Okay, limit theta one tends to pi negative, and put one over four ten arc ten tangent theta over two over two, and put the value zero theta one plus also another part. Two pi theta two, limit theta two tends to pi positive. Okay, this is negative pi over two. If you put theta one into then arc ten of this one, but if theta tends to pi negative, that means this one is tends to positive infinity. Positive infinity over two is positive infinity. Arc ten is equal to pi over two. Therefore, this one is one over four pi over two minus. At when zero put into this is zero. This is first part. For the second part, if you put theta two into the function, then this one is pi. Theta two tends to pi positive. This is tends to negative infinity. Negative infinity. Arc ten negative infinity is equal to negative. Negative pi over two. Therefore, here the real solution of this is equal to pi over two. This is, uh, let me see. Yes, pi over four. This negative pi over four. The the right answer of this integration should be negative pi over four. Not not that has you 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 think I, I, I fell into the trap okay i can't believe this one okay okay this is the wrong total wrong but anyway i i want to share this uh question and also answer my quest my my students question and and hope that guys can and know that if that in piece that this is a function after the integration in the indefinite integration indefinite indefinitely if the indefinite integration in the interval are breaking, breaking, every breaking part, we have to use the method of improper integration. Take limit. That's one method. I hope uh, guys can enjoy this video and know more more about the uh, uh, the method integration. Okay. If you found Dr. Kelly's math channel is useful, please subscribe my channel. Bye bye.